being a whistleblower. Well, parents band together to unveil the secret cyber attacker who is targeting young kids in the metro. Well, Vice 25's Phil Cross first told us about this story Monday when a cyber bully picked on the daughter of a high-profile attorney. And tonight, he talks with more victims who say they're glad someone is taking their side. It's tonight's Fox follow-up. Phil. Traditional bullies would call you names or pick on you in the hallways, but today, bullies online can remain anonymous. Now, Facebook tries to stay one step ahead of the attackers by shutting down their sites, but it's not slowing down the people intent on hurting others. I was on it all day nonstop. I couldn't, like, get off of it. I'm, like, addicted to Facebook. Like many teenagers, much of Alexis Morgan's life is lived online. Bored and nothing else to do but get on Facebook. But Alexis was shocked when someone stole her picture and her reputation. I was on Oklahoma Hoes, Oklahoma True Hoes, Oklahoma Ratchets, um, another Oklahoma Ratchets page. I was on like five of the pages. And like all of the stuff that were, that were said, like that is, like all of it was lies. The site's all similar and as soon as one is removed, it's quickly replaced. Like, people kept accusing me of doing all this stuff and then it kind of hurt my feelings that that people were actually thinking that about me. Alexis is speaking out after she heard attorney Scott Adams is filing a lawsuit to find and stop the cyber bullies. I feel like I'm not alone, like I feel like we're actually going to find these people. In certain respects it's actually worse than traditional bullying. Clinical psychologist Dr. Caleb Black says cyber bullying is not only further reaching but can have more serious effects. Is that you see more social withdrawal from cyber bullying than you do traditional bullying. But it's not just the victims hurt by the online attacks. So it actually has very negative effects both for the people doing it and for the people who are having it done to them. Dr. Lack says the act of bullying can be a sign of future problems as well. You bully because there's, you know, it's, it's not because you're a super happy, well-adjusted kid. It's there's something else going on. I kind of wake up and I think about what, what can I do today to make people not think that I actually did that stuff. But it's hard to repair a reputation and even harder to pretend words will never hurt you. I know it's not true, so as long as I know that it's not true, then everything will be okay because all I can do is defend myself. Attorney Scott Adams says he will get a court order to find out who's behind the anonymous post. He's also offering a $1,000 reward for information about who's responsible. Adams says several families of the victims have contacted him to join the lawsuit. Jamie? Okay, thank you, Phil. Psychologists say if you notice changes in your child's behavior, it could be a sign of being bullied and say you should talk to your kids about their online 